Benedict of Nursia Latin, Benedictus Nursiae, Italian, Benedetto da Norcia, Vulgar Latin, Asterisk Benedicto, Gothic, Benedict, c. 2 March 480 c. 543 or 21 March 547 AD is a Christian saint, who is venerated in the Catholic Church, the Eastern Orthodox Churches, the Oriental Orthodox Churches, the Anglican Communion and Old Catholic Churches. He is a patron saint of Europe. Benedict founded 12 communities for monks at Subiaco, Lazio, Italy, about 40 miles (64 kilometers) to the east of Rome, before moving to Monte Cassino in the mountains of southern Italy. The Order of Saint Benedict is of later origin and, moreover, not an order, as commonly understood, but merely a confederation of autonomous congregations. Benedict's main achievement is his Rule of Saint Benedict, containing precepts for his monks. It is heavily influenced by the writings of John Cassian, and shows strong affinity with the rule of the Master. But it also has a unique spirit of balance, moderation and reasonableness, epaikeia epaikeia, and this persuaded most religious communities founded throughout the Middle Ages to adopt it. As a result, his rule became one of the most influential religious rules in Western Christendom. For this reason, Benedict is often called the founder of Western Christian monasticism. Topic. Biography Apart from a short poem attributed to Mark of Monte Cassino, the only ancient account of Benedict is found in the second volume of Pope Gregory I's four-book dialogues, thought to have been written in 593. The authenticity of this work has been hotly disputed, especially by Dr. Francis Clark in his two-volume work The Pseudo-Gregorian Dialogues. Book two consists of a prologue and 38 succinct chapters. Gregory's account of this saint's life is not, however, a biography in the modern sense of the word. It provides instead a spiritual portrait of the gentle, disciplined abbot. In a letter to Bishop Maximilian of Syracuse, Gregory states his intention for his dialogues, saying they are a kind of floridum an anthology, literally, flowers of the most striking miracles of Italian holy men. Gregory did not set out to write a chronological, historically anchored story of Saint Benedict, but he did base his anecdotes on direct testimony. To establish his authority, Gregory explains that his information came from what he considered the best sources, a handful of Benedict's disciples who lived with the saint and witnessed his various miracles. These followers, he says, are Constantinus, who succeeded Benedict as abbot of Monte Cassino, Valentinianus, Simplicius, and Honoratus, who was abbot of Subiaco when St. Gregory wrote his dialogues. In Gregory's day, history was not recognized as an independent field of study, it was a branch of grammar or rhetoric, and historia defined as story summed up the approach of the learned when they wrote what was, at that time, considered history. Gregory's Dialogues Book II, then, an authentic medieval hagiography cast as a conversation between the Pope and his deacon Peter, is designed to teach spiritual lessons. <laughs> Early life He was the son of a Roman noble of Nursia, the modern Norcia, in Umbria. A tradition which Bede accepts makes him a twin with his sister Scholastica. If 480 is accepted as the year of his birth, the year of his abandonment of his studies and leaving home would be about 500. Saint Gregory's narrative makes it impossible to suppose him younger than 20 at the time. He was old enough to be in the midst of his literary studies, to understand the real meaning and worth of the dissolute and licentious lives of his companions, and to have been deeply affected by the love of a woman. He was at the beginning of life, and he had at his disposal the means to a career as a Roman noble, clearly he was not a child. Benedict was sent to Rome to study, but was dissatisfied by the life he found there. He does not seem to have left Rome for the purpose of becoming a hermit, but only to find some place away from the life of the great city. He took his old nurse with him as a servant and they settled down to live in Enfide. Enfide, which the tradition of Subiaco identifies with the modern Aphile, is in the Cimbruini Mountains, about 40 miles from Rome and two from Subiaco. A short distance from Enfide is the entrance to a narrow, gloomy valley, penetrating the mountains and leading directly to Subiaco. The path continues to ascend, and the side of the ravine, on which it runs, becomes steeper, until a cave is reached above which the mountain now rises almost perpendicularly, while on the right, it strikes in a rapid descent down to where, in St. Benedict's Day, 500 feet 150 meters below, lay the blue waters of the lake. The cave has a large triangular-shaped opening and is about 10 feet deep. 
On his way from Enfide, Benedict met a monk, Romanus of Subiaco, whose monastery was on the mountain above the cliff overhanging the cave. Romanus had discussed with Benedict the purpose which had brought him to Subiaco, and had given him the monk's habit. By his advice Benedict became a hermit and for three years, unknown to men, lived in this cave above the lake. <laughs> Later life Gregory tells us little of these years. He now speaks of Benedict no longer as a youth poor, but as a man vir, of God. Romanus, Gregory tells us, served the saint in every way he could. The monk apparently visited him frequently, and on fixed days brought him food. During these three years of solitude, broken only by occasional communications with the outer world and by the visits of Romanus, Benedict matured both in mind and character, in knowledge of himself and of his fellow man, and at the same time he became not merely known to, but secured the respect of, those about him, so much so that on the death of the abbot of a monastery in the neighborhood identified by some with Vicovaro, the community came to him and begged him to become its abbot. Benedict was acquainted with the life and discipline of the monastery, and knew that their manners were diverse from his and therefore that they would never agree together, yet, at length, overcome with their entreaty, he gave his consent. Ibid. 3. The experiment failed, the monks tried to poison him. The legend goes that they first tried to poison his drink. He prayed a blessing over the cup and the cup shattered. Thus he left the group and went back to his cave at Subiaco. There lived in the neighborhood a priest called Florentius who, moved by envy, tried to ruin him. He tried to poison him with poisoned bread. When he prayed a blessing over the bread, a raven swept in and took the loaf away. From this time his miracles seemed to have become frequent, and many people, attracted by his sanctity and character, came to Subiaco to be under his guidance. Having failed by sending him poisonous bread, Florentius tried to seduce his monks with some prostitutes. To avoid further temptations, in 530 Benedict left Subiaco. He founded twelve monasteries in the vicinity of Subiaco, and, eventually, in 530 he founded the great Benedictine monastery of Monte Cassino, which lies on a hilltop between Rome and Naples. During the invasion of Italy, Totila, king of the Goths, ordered a general to wear his kingly robes and to see whether Benedict would discover the truth. Immediately the saint detected the impersonation, and Totila came to pay him due respect. Topic. Veneration He died of a fever at Monte Cassino not long after his sister, Saint Scholastica, and was buried in the same place as his sister. According to tradition, this occurred on 21 March 543 or 547. He was named Patron Protector of Europe by Pope Paul VI in 1964. In 1980, Pope John Paul II declared him co-patron of Europe, together with Saint Cyril and Methodius. In the pre-1970 general Roman calendar, his feast is kept on the 21st of March, the day of his death according to some manuscripts of the Martyrologium Hieronymianum and that of Bede. Because on that date his liturgical memorial would always be impeded by the observance of Lent, the 1969 revision of the general Roman calendar moved his memorial to the 11th of July, the date that appears in some Gallic liturgical books of the end of the 8th century as the feast commemorating his birth Natalis S. Benedicti. There is some uncertainty about the origin of this feast. Accordingly, on 21 March the Roman Martyrology mentions in a line and a half that it is Benedict's day of death and that his memorial is celebrated on of July, while on of July it devotes seven lines to speaking of him, and mentions the tradition that he died on 21 March. The Eastern Orthodox Church commemorates Saint Benedict on 14 March. The Anglican Communion has no single universal calendar, but a provincial calendar of saints is published in each province. In almost all of these, St. Benedict is commemorated on of July. <inaudible> Rule of St. Benedict Seventy-three short chapters comprise the rule. Its wisdom is of two kinds, spiritual how to live a Christocentric life on earth and administrative how to run a monastery efficiently. More than half the chapters describe how to be obedient and humble, and what to do when a member of the community is not. About one-fourth regulate the work of God the Opus Dei. One-tenth outline how, and by whom, the monastery should be managed. Following the golden rule of Ora et Labora, pray and work, the monks each day devoted eight hours to prayer, eight hours to sleep, and eight hours to manual work, sacred reading, or works of charity. 
Topic: Saint Benedict Medal. This medal originally came from a cross in honor of Saint Benedict. On one side, the medal has an image of Saint Benedict, holding the Holy Rule in his left hand and a cross in his right. There is a raven on one side of him, with a cup on the other side of him. Around the medal's outer margin are the words, Ius in abitu nostro praesentia munimor. May we, at our death, be fortified by his presence. The other side of the medal has a cross with the initials CSSML on the vertical bar which signify, Crux sacra sit mihi lux. May the Holy Cross be my light. And on the horizontal bar are the initials NDSMD which stand for, Non Draco sit mihi dux. Let not the dragon be my overlord. The initials CSPB stand for, Crux sancti patris benedicti. The cross of the Holy Father Benedict. And are located on the interior angles of the cross. Either the inscription, Pax, peace, or the Christogram, IHS may be found at the top of the cross in most cases. Around the medal's margin on this side are the Vade Retro Satana initials VRSNSMV which stand for Vade Retro Satana, Nonquam Suede Mihi Vana. Be gone Satan, do not suggest to me thy vanities. Then a space followed by the initials SMQLIVB which signify Sunt Mala Quae Libas, Ipse Venina Bibas. Evil are the things thou profferest, drink thou thy own poison." This medal was first struck in 1880 to commemorate the 14th centenary of St. Benedict's birth and is also called the Jubilee Medal. Its exact origin, however, is unknown. In 1647, during a witchcraft trial at Natternberg near Metten Abbey in Bavaria, the accused women testified they had no power over Metten, which was under the protection of the cross. An investigation found a number of painted crosses on the walls of the abbey with the letters now found on St. Benedict medals, but their meaning had been forgotten. A manuscript written in 1415 was eventually found that had a picture of St. Benedict holding a scroll in one hand and a staff which ended in a cross in the other. On the scroll and staff were written the full words of the initials contained on the crosses. Medals then began to be struck in Germany, which then spread throughout Europe. This medal was first approved by Pope Benedict XIV in his briefs of 23 December 1741, and 12 March 1742. Saint Benedict has been also the motive of many collectors' coins around the world. The Austria 50 Euro the Christian Religious Orders, issued on 13 March 2002 as one of them. Topic. Influence The early Middle Ages have been called the Benedictine centuries. In April 2008, Pope Benedict XVI discussed the influence Saint Benedict had on Western Europe. The Pope said that, with his life and work Saint Benedict exercised a fundamental influence on the development of European civilization and culture, and helped Europe to emerge from the dark night of history. That followed the fall of the Roman Empire, St. Benedict contributed more than anyone else to the rise of monasticism in the West. His rule was the foundational document for thousands of religious communities in the Middle Ages. To this day, the rule of St. Benedict is the most common and influential rule used by monasteries and monks, more than 1,400 years after its writing. Today the Benedictine family is represented by two branches, the Benedictine Federation and the Cistercians. The influence of Saint Benedict produced a true spiritual ferment in Europe, and over the coming decades his followers spread across the continent to establish a new cultural unity based on Christian faith. A basilica was built upon the birthplace of Saints Benedict and Scholastica in the 1400s. Ruins of their familial home were excavated from beneath the church and preserved. The earthquake of October 30, 2016 completely devastated the structure of the basilica, leaving only the front facade and altar standing. Gallery See also Anthony the Great Benedictine Order Camaldolis Hermit Pustinia San Benedetto Saint Benedict Medal Vade Retro Satana Tenjin Kami, patron of students and scholars 
Topic. References. Topic. Sources. Gardner, Edmund G. Editor, 1911. The Dialogues of Saint Gregory the Great. London, Warner, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List, Link. Topic. External links. The Order of Saint Benedict. OSB.org, Institutional Website of the Order of Saint Benedict. Life and Miracles of Saint Benedict. In English, Spanish, French, Italian, and Portuguese. Archived from the original on October 21, 2004. Topic. The Rule. A Benedictine Oblate Priest, The Rule in Parish Life. Saint Benedict's Rule for Monasteries at Project Gutenberg, translated by Leonard J. Doyle. The Holy Rule of Saint Benedict. Translated by Boniface Verhaeyen. Topic: Publications. Gregory the Great: Life and Miracles of Saint Benedict. Dialogues, Book Two, pp. 51 to 101. The Medal or Cross of Saint Benedict: Its Origin, Meaning, and Privileges. Works by or about Benedict of Nursia at Internet Archive. Works by Benedict of Nursia at LibriVox public domain audiobooks. Saint Benedict of Norcia, patron of poison sufferers, monks, and many more. Topic: Iconography. Saint Benedict of Norcia. Founder statue in Saint Peter's Basilica. Topic: Others Saint Catherine Labore, mystic and messenger of the miraculous medal. Invisible Monastery of Charity and Fraternity, Christian Family Prayer in English, Spanish, French, German, and Portuguese. Archived from the original on September 8, 2004.